What's your lady? Good day. It's me. Y'all had to take the shine down. Because I ain't about to redo no makeup. I'm ready to take a bath. But let's get into burn, baby. Burn. Because I've been burning. And this is just the end of the month. So drink of the night, I got a blonde shot, some blonde shots with my Jordan's um, praline pecan syrup, add a little bit of the coconut macaron, a little bit of vanilla latte powder. Basically, I use what I got to get what I want, and I love fall. So starting off with some of these empties, y'all. I love fall hand soap, which was sunlit and apple trees, and a pineapple mango. I think I got that from Sass. And just finish a cozy cashmere at my bathroom sink. So what replaced the cozy cashmere was bright autumn sky. And what replaced the pineapple mango at the kitchen sink, I don't remember. But what replaced I love fall from my guest bath is now lakeside morning. This won't bother me. Because I should know at the kitchen sink. I'm in there all the time. I just wash my hand, y'all. Let's move on. I also have some skincare empties. My L'Oreal Age Perfect. This is just a good all-around daytime moisturizer before I put on my primer to do my makeup. Um, the Good Molecules Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. I normally go with the Pixie Glow Tonic. This was okay. I'm going to go back to the Pixie one. And the Make It Last Forever Milani Setting Spray. Um, some If I can grab it from the drugstore with my points, I go ahead and do that. So those are my empties. A little body care empty. The Midsummer Dream Moisturizing Body Wash. I'm a hand cream killer. This is a bubbly rosé hand cream. A few others somewhere. I don't know where they at. But also I got a Fresh Getaway Pocket Bag. Speaking of pocket, well that's not pocket bag, but my singles. Smoke vanilla. I feel like I'm the kind of person when it comes to singles, I have to put two together to get a decent throw. This apartment sucks up air and sucks the life out of any candle. You got to know your home, you all. I know my drafty spots. So putting two together, especially from semi-annual sale with the smoke vanilla whiskey and the sweet whiskey. Oh my God, head and hair lit. Scrape Bay Vibes. Team Burn Me. Birch Wood and Sage from Aldi. Burn Clean. Bathroom Amazing Throw. Um, This right here, this lemon and rosemary. This is a powerhouse single. I always say it gives me lemon, lemon pine saw. But after my cleaning days in the bathroom, gotta have it. And this Paris Cafe Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. I kept it trimmed, but it did get some sitting. But that's okay, because again, I had to pair this with something else to give an amazing throw. And I just put this alongside of some of the smoked vanillas on some nights. And now onto a single that I warmed. The Champagne Toast and Orange. Y'all, This I feel like this still has scent. And I documented that on IG. I know I burned that. I warmed that for like a good six, seven, eight, ten days Leaving it on going to work. That baby has some power. And then onto this water mint and clementine single wig that I made that I never burned. I put it under the warmer. Did amazing. Had the back of the house lit. And I used 100% soy, y'all. Okay. So my girl, white pumpkin. I call this the black girl approved pumpkin because this was white gingered white pumpkin which essentially is ginger spices like ginger cinnamon nutmeg caramel glaze and it says warm spices i'm guessing those warm spices would still be considered cinnamon or maybe allspice didn't detect detect any allspice on this but far as a throw you all i don't even i ain't got to review that because my bedroom it was a straight 10 out there on open concept i get it eight but it, it cleared the whole living room, I couldn't go wrong with it. Hometown Sugar Cookie, Tiffany Vanessa, you said it was raw sugar cookie. You don't like it. As it starts to burn and it gets down to the middle, it's going to give you Pillsbury Sugar Cookie that it tells you to bake for 10 minutes, but you let it go two minutes over too long and sit on the counter and it seized up and hardened up on you because it has built-in butter. But nonetheless, that little burnt stench... I didn't mind it. I like it. And it has a good throw. And the chocolate espresso martini. I'm burning the second one now. 
That's how much I'm in love with this candle. And you pair this with one of those smoked vanillas. Baby, the combination was just divine, okay? So you have, it's, it's telling you it's a double shot. Get into that. You're going you to need a drop. You need an Uber. Chocolate liqueur, espresso, and vodka in dark chocolate swirl. I literally had no complaints with this candle. It was beautiful. It was romantic. It started sitting at the end. But that's because I burned it to the fairly well stage. But nonetheless, the throw was amazing. So when I tell y'all about throw, I'm talking about my apartment. Again, if you got vaulted ceilings, you got a two-story Play that as you may. I'm a garden flat. Things just work for me. Damn. I love this ever since last year. I knew I was going back for it. It burned a little uneven at the end, but that's okay. I got like a deep Oreo. I got no pumpkin from it. That's okay. If I wanted something pumpkin, I would pair it with something else. So that um, times the hometown sugar cookie some nights going together. In my open concept was just divine or my L shape. I put one at the front room, let it come halfway down, and one on the dresser, let it meet, and then probably still some singles throughout to maximize my home fragrance experience. But I didn't mind that at all. I mean, it had an amazing throw to be $3.99, and they really don't suck. And then this bad boy right here, the smoke vanilla whiskey, which you will see during Christmas. So let's address the failed line. But it's not a failed line. It's a test line. They tested it. It did well. You're going to eventually see it. Hence come Christmas. So the scent notes on this, you got dark oak, bourbon reserve, smoked vanilla. Bourbon, whiskey can turn into bourbon, but bourbon can't turn into whiskey is essentially what this is saying. But if you have sweet whiskey and you're looking for something a little sweeter, pair it up. The smoked vanilla singles, pair it up. I like those, those Lomas natural. She they, they claim she claimed to have plum, but she gave it natural floral, a very fall forward pompous, that neutral aesthetic that you're seeing. She was okay. I didn't like her. I didn't love her. She was just okay. That's Lomas fall in bloom. Now, I felt like it didn't give me all the scent notes that said it did, but if you're gonna go off a of strength of the candle. It gave a solid eight. If you're going to go a projection of whatever this is, she gave medium to high. So that's not that's not bad. That's actually a good thing. I just didn't care for it. But what I did care for, bad boy come out and play. Swear to weather time, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. They pulled out the juniper note. And swear to weather, they gave you some pumpkin spices, aka your cinnamons, your cardamoms, your cloves, along with that aromatic eucalyptus. This is a flame thrower, powerhouse, powerhouse, flame thrower, heavy hitter. Whomever on YouTube uses those words, if I'm copying, okay, yeah, and the candle did what the hell it needed to do. Next case. And then we got this pretty little diva, Sweet Berry Peony. I was so late to the party. This is why you need to stop shopping and burn your ish. Because I had this candle when it first came out. Peony Petals, Sweet Strawberry, and Juicy Pomegranate. Those three combinations together. When I told y'all this was a beautiful floral, this wasn't who got the body funeral home floral. She was sweet. She was dainty. She was grown up. She was date night. He gave you some flowers while at dinner. And she pitched a 10 in my open concept. And y'all, I don't even have a backup. But that's what you get for over shopping. Guilty as charged. Speaking of over shopping, pumpkin peanut brittle. I have, I gave my coworker one. I burned through this one. I have four. And I am super okay with that. Um, crunchy caramel brittle. Um, salty peanuts toasted pumpkin seed. I get no pumpkin, no, no seed, no seed, no, no pumpkin. I get like a scraped peanut butter with a little bit of caramel. And that is okay because I dug into my crates and I broke out all those $6.12 wild berry jam donut. I have zero complaints. In this beauty room right here, she was super strong. She drifted out the door. Open concept. I can give her a solid eight. None more, none less. Midnight Amber Glow. A lot of people on the fence with it because I guess it just didn't knock you out. But let me tell you, 
that amber times that caramel latte, that vanilla bourbon. I burned her with brown sugar latte. I burned her with Paris Cafe on one side. I burned her with smoked vanilla. I burned her with smoked vanilla whiskey. Everything I got down here, baby, I am a blender and she gave me life. My review on this, I enjoyed her more in the bedroom as a wind down scent. She projected medium to high. Kind of high in the bedroom, medium on the open concept, real wise, solid eighth. I ain't never mad at it. I think I'm gonna have to back this up some more. And then you got Walk in the Woods 2.0. Okay, that's white eucalyptus and sage. Um, white eucalyptus mineral sage, frozen pine. I'm a very tree earthy person, and I always refer to Cynthia because she can't stand earthy, but I do. This was a beautiful one far as throw and projection. I mean, it literally was too strong for the bedroom. So I had to bring it out on open concept and it did amazing. It pitched a whole 10 um, projection wise. Even out there, it still was high. And I guess that's due to that sage, the pine and eucalyptus compare. Put all three of those together done the right way. You almost gonna send you off your nostrils, but again, some people like that. And then the cinnamon latte. I still hadn't burned Autumn Chai from Bath and Body Works yet because essentially I read the scent notes and on cold they're giving sisters. But this one was very powerful. I really didn't get a latte. I got a cinnamon note, and I don't mind that when cooking because remember your cinnamons, your citrus, uh, your coffee notes, even eucalyptus is very, very good for resetting. And last but not least, I got this big bitch. Mm. Okay, Josh touched the fire twice. It was like, yeah, you know, it was, it was a good candle. It, it gave the pumpkin, and I saw Santa Maria talked about it, and it was the right amount of pumpkin. And I'm here to tell you, Black Girl Pumpkin approved. It's the, it's the toasty, the nuttiness of the vanilla times the pumpkin where well, you didn't give me all that cinnamon that earthy orange pumpkin and this sat on my um my my ottoman that i use as a uh what you call it, a coffee table and did the doggone thing in my open concept and this is one of the ones from marshall's i know people talk about the overflow that marshall's have have technical errors i heard but the wicks didn't shift or anything like that. I did keep it trimmed because I did get some sitting. But as it went, she got stronger. I have no complaints. So my soul. The y'all saw me the other day supposed to be shopping for throw pillows. And what did I bring home? Two more. Very rarely I find a pumpkin that I'm like, okay, you speak into my culture. You speak into my people. And this did amazing. So y'all, that's what I burned for the last two weeks. I got one video up there that I did the beginning part of the month. Mama don't play when it comes down to the burn. Keep them carpets clean, wipe down the walls, and burn y'all-ish. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one.